New tonight, Mid-State firefighters forced from their fire hall over safety concerns. And now the crew at Fire Station Number 3 will be living in a double-wide trailer for the next 18 months. News Channel 5's John Cole Newland is in Columbia with details. At fire station number three, it's business as usual. Their crew prepares a retirement dinner on the grill. Recently, when they're not responding to emergency calls, they're spending a lot of their time outside, and so is their truck. That's because their station was deemed unsafe and the crew was forced to move out. Assistant Fire Chief Ty Cobb shows us why. Very serious cracks that are occurring. In nearly every room, cracks line the floors and walls. You can see the separation in the wall. When Cobb noticed the deterioration in the bathroom, he called in a specialist who confirmed what he and the city officials feared. Keep in mind that a fire station built in 1962 is constructed different than today's standards. Um, again, there's a lot of development in this part of town, uh, the soil, uh, erosion occurring, uh, and all that was kind of tied in the engineer's report. Uh, but again, we had to act quickly. Outside, the damage to the building can easily be seen. That's what we can see. My concern is what's under the floor, uh, where you could have some void if you had some erosion. It took five days for the city to approve and supply new housing, which the crew now lives in. As soon as they said this is what we're doing, everybody jumped on board. Geological issues have been a concern here. Within the year, a big sinkhole opened up on the highway right over there. Plans are now in the works to build a temporary shelter for the nearly $900,000 fire truck. But that will likely happen after the building is demolished in the next two months. For at least the next year plus, the crew will be living in this double white trailer. But you won't hear any complaints from them. In Columbia, Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5. Thanks, Jonquil. The city had to dip into its emergency fund to supply the new housing, but we're told keeping the firefighters safe was the top priority.